So I was scrolling Instagram, when I saw a cool effect. I fired up DaVinci, grabbed an overpriced bubble water, and wanted to try and recreate it. Man, it's smooth. It's so smooth. Chef's kiss, this is great. I was just out there, just questing, looking for good We found it. Mullah Muggsy. However you say your name, my man, this this was a great little tutorial. But the thing is, is I don't use CapCut. I never have. I would. I want to try. I want to, After this, I want to try. After everything I've been seeing, I want to try. But I used DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut, and I thought, well, let's just show the people how... Jake Felzine would make this transition. In my opinion, it's bordering on the edge of a little bit gimmicky, and yet the execution is done well, and so I think it works great, which is why we're gonna try to mimic it literally exactly with obviously different clips, but. Now I know y'all are thinking it. Jake, what are you gonna use? Um, we're definitely gonna be using DaVinci Resolve for this. Uh, to do this in Final Cut, it's totally doable, but it would just suck. Let's fire up DaVinci Resolve and let's do this. So. We need to open up a new project. Let's grab our three shots that we got at the beginning of this video. So first shot obviously is just me. Let's punch way in here. Here's our first clip, which again, I don't know, we're talking about hot dogs and Costco. Because, you know, that's all I think about is how good Costco hot dogs are, obviously. Now this first clip is really kind of irrelevant. We're not going to do the text or whatever. We're just doing the hand flying in this thing. This is all we're doing today. That's what we care about. We want to show that in DaVinci. It's super easy. Okay, so next order of business is to prepare our second clip with the hand flying in. So what I want to do here is drag down the second clip and get the starting point where we started. And I think we're going to go about right there, delete, drag it over so that yeah, I think that'll be perfect. The tricky thing about this is we essentially need a freeze frame of the hand flying in, right? Like that's not going to be a moving part of the video. Although technically it could be. Let's actually try it that way. First order of business for sure is we want to option click the top clip. What this does is it turns off linking so we don't get the audio because we don't care about the audio. So just option click the top clip, clip, tip of the tongue, teeth of the lips, and then option click again and drag it up. Now, on this top clip, I am going to be using my shortcut to open up Fusion, which is R. If you don't have a shortcut for opening up Fusion in DaVinci Resolve, I highly recommend it. Punch that R key, here comes Fusion. Beautiful, it looks like we are still getting the stupid Fusion bug where I don't have my media. Shift, space, hit that space bar, hit shift. All this is doing is opening up our tools on what we want. Type in magic mask. We get a little ink injector thing with the plus icon. What is ink dropper? Ink, ink dropper, ink. Jake, how stupid can you look in so many words? You take the ink dropper and I'm just gonna draw on my arm and my hand and the phone. And we're gonna see what it does here. and. Like, that's so clean. That was so good. You watched that. You saw that. We all saw that. We all saw that. F***ing insane. Now, for good measure, I am going to go to the subtract button over here just in case and draw around my hand. Again, just to make sure that it really knows that what I want is my hand, even though off of just the addition line, it clearly knows. So we're going to try this. It's doing it. Wow. It is fast, dude. They recently shipped out the version where like Apple Silicon GPUs or whatever is like faster I don't know, I can't remember the exact details, but like that was quick and I'm screen recording and doing like I've got another monitor open like this is insane. So now from here, what I want to do is select both of these clips. Again, if you disable the bottom clip, we just see my hand, which is perfect. That's what we want to see. So enable that. Let's drag both of these up so that they're over this and then maybe like four or five frames. Let's move our playhead to the end of the first clip and let's just hit arrow keys back to, I don't know, five, six, seven frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's try seven, see how it feels. Move these clips over, zoom in, option click the bottom one and drag it so that it is not there anymore. And again, as you can see now, there is a hand floating in space over my head. So at this point, all we need to really do is now keyframe this, and we're gonna get basically the exact same effect as Mullah. I apologize, I'm terrible with names. So to do that, really, really, really easy. We could do it in Fusion, but we're gonna do it in the edit page just because it's simpler. We are going to go to, again, where 
the new clip starts. We're gonna go up here to transform and position and I'm just gonna hit a keyframe. A lot of times when I'm doing stuff like this, I will actually just do the overall keyframe just so that I make sure I cover all of my bases on zoom, position, anchor point, whatever. Just <laughs> make sure that there's a keyframe. And then we are going to again, go over to the beginning of the clip and we are going to make another keyframe. Um, again, we don't have to do that because as soon as we start to move one of these parameters in the transform window, it happens automatically. But again, just good practice. Let's hit a keyframe and then let's take the position and slide that sucker out of screen. So now if we play the Costco hot dog bit, in flies the hand. It's pretty, pretty quick animation. I think I like it. The only thing that I maybe don't like about it is actually where it comes from. And again, I think this kind of goes like, obviously we're analyzing a vertical video and we're making a YouTube video. So we're using horizontal video as our example instead of vertical. I think instead what I'm going to do is go to the beginning. I'm going to actually delete my keyframes. And I think I want it to actually pop in from underneath. And I think that that's gonna look a little bit nicer. So let's try that. I'm also going to set my timeline resolution to half just to make sure we're getting smooth playback here. Okay, I like that so, I like that so much better from the bottom though. Okay, now the only thing that I'm really not liking about this that isn't working is that the movement is not smooth. It's just flying in completely linear and we want to ease that in. Really, really simple to do. All we have to do is go up to that top clip, go to our keyframe, you know, basically where the clip starts and on the position keyframe, we need to right click and it says linear. Why can't I? Okay, sorry, I don't know if I hit a bug or what that was, but sorry, go to your first keyframe, right click, make sure that it is set to ease out. Again, all that's doing is making our spline curve smooth. Um, go to the next keyframe and make sure that it's set to ease in instead of linear. Um, let it render and it still might be a little bit fast of a uh, transition. I'm not totally sure that I like it, but it a thousand percent looks better with the ease in, ease out. And guys, that is it. That is how you do this effect in DaVinci Resolve. It's super, super pretty straightforward. It's awesome, it's super cool. Now at this point in the video, we've, we've gone out, we've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, which is fantastic, but I think now I wanna kinda take the steal like an artist concept and put the Jake Felsing spin on it, right? Like if I was to take this effect and actually use it in something that I was making for me, on one of my videos or a client, what would I do? What, how, you know, would I do it exactly like this? And, and maybe, maybe I would, but I think one thing that I would definitely do, especially for this shot, because it feels like the hand, you know, I shot it all in the same place. I did, you know, everything, I'm wearing the same clothing. Everything looks very much the same. So one thing that I would do to maybe make the hand pop just a little bit more is I would actually go up here to effects. I have it saved as a favorite. To find it, you just need to go to open effects, hit search and type in paper edge. I take that back. It's not in open effects. It's in regular effects <laughs> and it's called paper edge. Now I love this effect and I think that like it's going, yeah, it, I can already tell. It's going to take this, like, come on. I love that. Do you love that? I don't know. I, I mean, again, I'm really into like the tangible, cartoony, additional type stuff in my videos. So I love that like if I had again, like a little newspaper crinkle sound effect, hand flies in, I think that looks sick. I, I don't know, I just feel like there's ways to get super creative with this. And yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it. Let me know if you guys liked this style. Again, sometimes I just wanna sit down, just talk through cool things that I've seen, show you how to do it, give you ideas on how to even evolve it even further. And then you guys go take that and run with it and evolve it further. And the next thing you know, you're sending me clips and I'm reacting to those and making them, tweaking them and we just get better as editors. I love this community. You guys are the best. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you wanna become a member, we do more, you know, tutorial type BTS videos there and you help support the channel. Would surely appreciate it. But hey, that's it for me guys. And I'll see you in the next one.